Day two, Saturday. Row H, the third river. Hey, little guy, I have a cat. All right, row H, the third river. Row H, the third river. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, we got our clue. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. New plant acquired. All right, let's take in our first customer. Bring me a sample of Apis Demisus, Demisus, Demisus. And be quick about it. That damn cat is setting off my allergies. Shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. Shut up. How dare you? Why are you coming into my shop anyways if you're gonna insult my cat? Apis. Uh... Apis? I don't think we know that one. Um, mm, mm, mm. I thought maybe it could be like a scientific name. Aha! Yep, Apis demisis is this demisis is a scientific name of Gandhi root. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as their rough leaves can be irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Alright, let me see. I think it's you. The leaves are coarse to touch. The rough leaves can be Yep, I think this is it. Man, I am good. Meek do. Um, wait, I gotta water my plants. It's not raining no more. Gotta remember, I don't kill nothing. I do like the way it's like kind of like a puzzle. Uh Red small berries, okay. Oh, David's back. Lake Undermire's looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Oh, David is our is our um mail carrier. Okay. There's an old slate mine at Hard Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. Hard Knot. Um. I need my glasses. He says hard not. Aha, hard not. Here it is. An iron gate, rusted by years of abandonment, sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted away, but it won't budge. Locked. Oh, we have a plant for that. Calvium. Uh. Candy root. Ah, hang on. Cavillium. Uh, 
their leaves, leaves, heart shaped. Okay. Heart shaped rocks. Um, I don't think we have it here. No, I don't think we have it. We know what they are. Yeah, I, I don't see it. Okay, so we might have to leave. This is the first one where we have to, like, we can't really um use it or solve it yet. I'm headed to Grizeldell Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The sisterhood are a secret li secretive lot, and they not keen to talk to me. Their leader, that Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that can help me win them over. Ruben Ward. Alright, fox button, he says. So, fox button. An offering of fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick, shiny leaves grow in opposing pairs among the stems. Thick, shiny leaves grow in opposing pairs. Um, this one or this one actually? Other flowers. Oh, I don't have it. Mm. So we do have it. Okay. So if that's the case. What does this one say? Blue flowers, stiff leaves. But that can't be possible. This one. Delicate flowers. Smells of nothing in particular. These kind of look like it. Um, and they're uh, they're opposite of each other. So I'm going to use this one. Oh, that's correct. All right, cool. Victoria. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's Poppy. There's a medium using the room, illegally I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of that I can use to give them a scare and drive them away? I need my sleep. Okay, let's see. Harlequin, har... Harlequin Blue. It says, when the bushy blue flowers had died back, they released seeds with a downy pappus, with, which exists, assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, this, once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burned, they let out high peach screeks, widely believed to be spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. That's not terrifying at all. This might be difficult. Uh, bushy blue flower. No, blue. Blue flower stiff leaves. Mm. Blue 
flower. No, I don't think that's it. Dark blue? No. Dark flower. It says... It does say airy scent. And it does say, um... Helps with wind dispersal. So, let's use this one. Oh! It was that one. Alright, do we have any clues? Oh, that's right. Hard knot. Hard knot. It had the... Did we get any new plants? No, we don't have the... The, the heart flowers. Yeah, we don't have it. Uh, we don't know what that is. A uh, dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills of northeast of Backborough. Backborough. Mm, Backborough. It says the the hills. Aha. Let's go here. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. A good thing too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over a cloak of unwelcome shade. Ooh, ooh. We did find a new... I think we can archive that. So we still need a hard knot, and then we need this one here that I don't know what that is yet. Okay. Oh. Bethany Coleman. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May Arduina, Arduina um, bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look to outside help. This is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. Mary's breath. Mary's breath. The wide waxy leaves allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. It is said that a person can be bound to secrecy using Mary's breath. It used to be grown in the royal garden so that the king could ensure that the trust of his confidants, but practice fell out of favor. Wide waxy leaves. These look like waxy leaves. Veined leaves. Um, have a waxy finish. That may be it. But they're pretty big. What about this one? Smooth waxy leaves. See, but these have like veins on them, you know? So... They look like veins. And they're pretty big. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, I'm right. Good. A letter. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore across from Torvor. Torvor? For? Please? No, that's a T. Torvor. Please help us. Yours in hope. The sisterhood of Arduina. Alright, alright. Let's take a look. Where do we have to go? Grisdale Forest. Grisdale Forest. A mile from the lake shore. A mile from the lake shore. Across from Tover. 
So here. A mile. That's Tover. That's the forest. Um. Actually, let me put my book away. Oh, so it's just basically the forest. There we go. As soon as I step off the road, two members of the sisterhood step out and remind me that this is their forest. I'm not welcome here. I try showing them the sister's letter, but they tell me I'm in the wrong place and move me along without offering any help. Okay, so... I was in the wrong place. I hope... I wish I remember where I, I found, I like pressed the button. Is this a mile from the lake shore? This is, maybe I should click there. Okay, I'll, I'll try it again. Isidore Burbage. I'm this close to reporting you, Halfwit. The last pint you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. Oh, I gave you the wrong plant? Okay. All right. Was it the wrong mushroom? No, I did it. He, he said wandering boo. And that's what he wanted. So he's dumb. He don't know what he wants. Um, and meek do. Let's try this one. Meek do. Um, the beautiful flowers made up of smaller plant florets make this sought after decorative plant although it is difficult to care for it may be a pleasant looking plant but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores so he doesn't want that one butterdale okay the dark green leaves can be stewed to mulch to form a pulpice I thought we found... Did we not? We didn't find Butterdale. Alright, let's go look at... Aha! Buttery scent. Here you go. Okay. Um, let's do the will to explore. He said a mile. If this is Tover. This is the lake shore, ain't it? Or this is the lake shore? Look, I'm gonna... Okay, let's... A mile from Tover. One... One square is a mile. Let's try here. Why did I come here? I don't know. Alright, so... It wasn't there. I'll look at the next. Oh, I think I, it's gonna probably be... Uh, we'll try again later. We'll we'll just try again. I don't I don't know. I hope this game isn't like how long can you survive? North of Hawk uh, Shad, east of Lotwick, west of Rustland, south of Prinkle Crags. The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure and after studying it for some time she reached a decision she would never use the power she had discovered she would hide the book where it could never be found <laughs> 